Oh god, oh god, oh god. Run, 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 run. Right. <laughs> okay. Hey everyone, how's it going? Today I'm playing Partisans 1941. This is a really fun stealth game I picked up recently. Uh, actually, I didn't really pick it up recently. I just had it on Steam for ages and haven't played it till now. It's really, really good. So if you get the chance to play this game at some point, heartily recommend so far. I am currently in the middle of a mission. I thought I would just start, you know, bloody, bloody making a video because why not? So I'm right at the end, to be honest, but uh, still, it should be interesting. I want to show off the gameplay and stuff. It's uh, primarily a stealth game, but it's sort of like an xcom -y kind of aspect to the game as well, in terms of just the base building mechanics that we'll get into later, as well as the fact that they're sort of hit, hit to chance and stuff like that. Chance to hit, sorry, I got that the wrong way around. <laughs> Since it's completely the wrong way around. Here we go, we're gonna destroy the convoy security, so. Here they are, there's, there's eight of them apparently. So you can, oh shoot, wrong, wrong button, right. So you can, uh, obviously you're trying to, trying to process stealthily, but since there's so many of them, I don't really think it's gonna be an option. We're probably gonna have to have a shootout at some point. But we'll try and take out as many as we can stealthily, maybe, Maybe slip this guy's throat. I mean, two of my guys have got knives. Of course, you play as partisans during the uh, German occupation of a country. I don't think it's actually said what country it is. So, we're not well equipped. We've got limited limited ammunition. Just limited everything, really. You, you have to get food to survive during missions. It's just... God, it's just a bloody good game, you know? It's just really freaking good. Alright, oh, make a run for it, dude. Oh, God, right. He's hidden in the bushes there, even though he was stood up for a second, he was hidden anyway. So now, I think we've got to time this where he's looking away. Is he... Yeah, he can't see. So he's looking away. Is he going to turn around? Because if not, I think we've got a pretty good... Yeah, we're just going we're gonna to go for it. Alright, pick him up and go. Oh god. Oh, flop. What a time to do this. Bloody run, mate. <laughs> there you go. He's in the bushes. Grab your stuff and go. Not the body, grab the knife. Now we can loot him as well. There we go, so he's, you can see he's got bullets, food, medical equipment, like crafting supplies, I guess. I think it's chewing tobacco there as well, which is cool, I guess. There you go, one out of eight. So this is very much a sort of just, um, just a very similar game to Shadow Tactics, Blades of the Shogun, if you played that, or Desperados 3, but with a really cool management twist that I really enjoy. Also, you know, it's set in World War II, which is usually a fun setting for video games. I think this guy's probably our next isolated target, so we'll go for him now. This is my stealth guy. That guy's also stealth, and this guy is primarily just a shotgunner. Actually, we're gonna show, we're gonna throw him, throw a knife into him. The reason I did that is because he had, you see the chevrons above his head there, that means he's, uh oh means he's a high rank, so he would have, he would have, uh, been, might, might have been able to fight me off if I was unlucky. Run, dude. <laughs> there we go. I think our next guy is probably this fella, this unlucky fella here. Maybe. That, that might be a bit tricky, though. Let's go over here for now. Oh, God. Fix, 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 fix. Right. <laughs> Gotta be so careful. I'm actually on the hardest difficulty, so I can't actually quick save. Um... So I have to rely on autosave, so this is actually, just makes the game more intense. The autosaves aren't, like, super punishing or anything, so, you know, it doesn't make the game really annoying or anything. If, if I had to restart the mission every time I got spotted, I would just, I'd play on the medium difficulty, but it's not that bad. I think this is going to be the next fella, though, as I say. So they've, they've won, no, they haven't. Okay, they have a really quick patrol, it seems. I'll be out of their way soon enough. You turn him around. I could just go stab this guy. No, no, never mind. <laughs> I was thinking I could get him for the XP and the, uh, just in case he had loot, but never mind. Right, let's do this. Oh, there's another guy there. Who spotted me? That was him. I think I can jump over this fence. I think I unlocked a skill that let me do that. Yeah, there we go. Let's just... Go here for now. 
There's someone in this house, but I don't know where he is. Oh, there he is. Oh god, he's coming. Oh god, I don't know where to go. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Okay, you move along, and he's going to turn around and see me in a second if I'm not careful. Uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Bloody hell, man. Right, you move along. And we'll, we'll follow this guy in here and, and shoot him. I mean, just stab him up, because then we can take all this stuff. Oh, we'll, we won't follow him, we'll just stab him now. Let's see a fella. Quick snatch and grab. Sorry, fella. I think when they're green like that, when they have like the low, the low rank chevron, it means that they are part of the uh, police. They're sort of like colluding with the Germans, which is not very nice, of course. But desperate times, I suppose. Oh, this is stealing from from a local person. So I guess we won't do that. That lowers your squad's morale, and when you've got low morale, you just have massive debuff on all your skills so this is kind of an rpg in the sense that you can upgrade your skills as well which is something i really like as well honestly I would, the best way to describe this game would be xcom crossed with a scuffed version of blades of the shogun or desperados 3 if you played that and i love all those games commandos as well i suppose i suppose commandos if you've ever played that which i, I have but i didn't really play all that much Oh shoot, okay, this guy's right next to a trap. We're gonna, we're gonna clonk him with a cement mixer. As soon as that guy turns away. Yeah, sorry guy. Nothing personal. Clonk. <laughs> so I think that, that counts as an accident, so we're not gonna get, like, you know, raising the alarm or anything like that. So he's gonna spot him, run over and be like, oh my lord, the fella's dead. And then we can just for par him, hopefully. Oh no! What enemies are searching? Oh god. Uh oh. Right, let's get you guys out of the way. Oh flop! <laughs> no. Oh no. All right, we gotta we're having to shoot right now. No, no, no! Let go of that. Oh god. Right, take cover everyone. Let go. Oh shoot, yeah, I can't pause it. Get your shotgun ready. Oh shies, right, there's a grenade. Grenade. Bloody hell. I can't pause it either. Usually you have a sort of a pause button to do, but nope, not in this game. Not on hardest difficulty, of course. Get your sniper ready. Unfortunately, they've heard the gunfire and they're coming over. They're all in really good positions as well, so I can't shoot them very easily. You should probably just heal yourself, fella. Running low on ammo as well, which is really unfortunate. Run. Bloody hell. <laughs> it's stressful. Run. <laughs> no. We've lost a guy. We've lost a guy. Damn, I was so close. You're not gonna tell me, are you, lady? Okay, we're gonna flank round. Damn, how did you miss at that range? <laughs> right, try that again. Okay, we're sort of back where we were, except this time I've got a cunning plan. Gonna chuck a rock over here. When that fella's standing next to the thing. And away we go with this. Hopefully killing both of them. Oh, it just killed one. Okay, well, that's just perfect, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I th I thought I thought that would kill both of them. It just, oh my lord! Right, well, everyone hide. Our oh, bloody hell, geezer. Our oh, flopping, flopping flops. I I can't believe they didn't kill both of them, Bradley. <laughs> well, that sucks. 
I don't think I'm going to be able to get over to him in time. Screw it, let's just go down guns blazing, I guess. Come on then, if you think you're hard enough. Who knows, maybe, maybe something good will come out of this. You know what, if you can just hold them off long enough, maybe, maybe we can heal him. Oh yeah, here we go. This is working. You may wish to run away from that, actually. Oh no, damn it, as soon as we bloody heal him. Another fella goes down, but it's okay. Reload, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we almost made that work. Can't believe I didn't reload my weapon. That's why you always gotta keep your weapons reloaded. I made sure he's reloaded this time. God damn it. <laughs> I wonder if he'd reloaded if we'd have actually won that little skirmish. Who knows? Okay, I got a different plan this time. It involves stabbing these two in the throat. Okay. Got these two out of the way, that's really good. Okay, I reckon in a second when this guy moves away, I think we should be able to kill this guy and carry him away. Depends what this guy looks. If he looks over here, then we're stuffed. But this guy only sees this far, so we can actually kill this guy. And it should be fine. I don't know where this guy looks, though. That's the problem. You know what? Maybe you go do that. Yes, there we go. Right. Carry him away. Ace up. Oh, bloody hell. Carry that guy in. Hurry. Perfect. This is going way better than last time. Okay, once again, just go up behind him. I think there is a small chance that we will actually win these melee engagements, which is why I prefer to just throw the knife. But, uh, it's fine. I think for the most part, it's probably like a 90% chance that you win. It just said in the skill tree when I upgraded my stealth capabilities, it said increased chance to win melee attacks. So either there's melee attacks that I don't know about when you're like in a full-on fight, or it's just there is like a chance that I can actually fail those stealth kills. Just to make sure that I don't get caught by this guy, I'm gonna just take him out just so he's out of the picture, you know? <laughs> just in case, because you never bloody know. Right, they're coming. As soon as they turn around, we can throw a knife at this guy. That's it. Follow your CO. And... Bah! Right. And just in case, I don't want to get spotted by him. Right. That's it. Into the bushes with you. Man, this is satisfying. It's, oh god, as someone who loves stealth games, this is just really, really bloody good. And for a finale, we will clonk you with the cement mixer. I hope you are happy. Clonk. <laughs> this guy didn't really do anything, but that's okay, because he's sort of more of a shooty shotgunner type, so I don't really mind that too much. I actually have a, uh, a level up point, which is good. So here is the, the base. I say base building like it's um, in depth, but it's not really, it's just kind of like this war of mine, if you've ever played that, where you've got a limited amount of time to do stuff in the day. And then you just gotta go out and do missions during the night, but it's not really the night in this game, it's just whatever, just day. Not really a day and night cycle, you know. But first of all, let's level up our guy. So we've got one skill point for this guy, he's the stealth character. This guy's sort of stealth and shooty, and this is just a shooty McShooty guy. With a disguise ability, which is kind of cool. And then you can run up to people and start talking to them. And they'll they'll face him uh, while he's talking to them, and then hopefully this guy can just run up and just stab him in the neck. Which is always satisfying to pull off when that happens. Uh, that wasn't really applicable, that skill, in that scenario though, because it only works in non-restricted areas. So... I think that entire level was pretty much a restricted area. Um, could increase his shots with pistols. What's this? Increase throwing distance and decrease ability cooldown. The decrease ability cooldown doesn't matter because I only ever use it one, like, 
every like 10 seconds anyway or whatever maximum um and that's you know that's bloody generous because i i get you gotta be careful you know i might just increase melee to be honest allows you to kill vermect soldiers and policemen faster when in stealth yeah here it is wind chance during melee fighting is strongly increased so that to me sounds like i can actually lose those stealth attacks but i'm not 100 percent sure as i say maybe just lowering the stamina cost would be good or increased backpack slots. God, it's so tough to make these decisions, isn't it? Oh, he's actually, he's got a rifle, actually. He's got a rifle at the moment. And I think it would be best to make sure he's at least good with one of his weapons. Because he doesn't use pistols anymore. So, yeah, we'll, we'll do the rifle. Anyway, let's look at the story. I've got the Russian audio on. You can't have English audio. But the voice actors aren't amazing, to be, to be quite honest. So I just got the Russian voice actors on. It's a pretty interesting story, it's okay. Um, you know, nothing to write home about or anything, but it gets the job done. And the gameplay is really the focus here, because it is just really satisfying. Is that how Russians say yay? I can't even make that noise. <laughs> I'm not even going to attempt it. I'm not even going to embarrass myself with the attempt. I mean, that poor pig, that feels... Oh, that's a horrible picture. Oh. Actually, you don't eat pig in real life. Um, I'm, I'm mostly a vegetarian. Uh, I'm mostly not a vegetarian. I just don't eat pig. Because I, I just love pigs. Uh, they're, they're more intelligent than dogs, actually. And I would never, ever eat a dog. So... I feel bad for eating pigs. I felt bad for eating pigs for ages, and then just probably like last year or something, I just stopped. And I haven't missed them. I haven't missed eating pig or anything. I, I just substituted chicken for most of it. I said not to eat cows either, because um, <laughs> I sort of think of cows as sort of horses as well. And I, I love horses too. I used to have one as a kid, so yeah. I'm sort of a semi vegetarian. I still eat chicken, I still eat fish. Because uh, chickens aren't quite as like self-aware as cows and, and pigs, if you know what I mean. Birds in general are just sort of a bit thick. So I don't feel quite as bad for eating them. As, as, as horrible as that sounds. I did try going fully vegetarian, but uh, I, I started feeling dizzy after like a week. So I did have to stop doing that. Anyway, let's uh, carry on, shall we? <laughs> so now we've got assigned tasks to our fellas. I wasn't even reading that. I felt bad for the pig. <laughs> I hope that pig killed those Germans. Here's our missions we can do. Um, oh no, this this is like um, off-screen missions, so like Assassin's Creed, I guess. We can assign them to do stuff. There's a chance that you won't win. Uh, so if I plonk this guy... There you go, I've only got 20% chance to do... Oh, there's only 60% chance with all these guys, so I'm probably not going to bother doing that, but... I would get painkillers and bandages and XP if I did it. Uh, honestly, not really worth it. For the 60% for, for, like, not even that good loot anyway. Not really worth it, to be honest. I would get uh, some supplies as well, I think. My provisions... I've got loads of provisions at the moment, so... Oh, wait, wait. I can't remember what that crate is now. That's my food, I think. Yeah, so I'm dropping in food. I haven't got much food left. I need to probably f uh, fish. So, yeah, you go f you, you go fish. I, I usually let the kid fish since he's just a kid. I don't want him to just get shot and killed. And maybe you just go gathering as well. We're going to have a chilled out night, you know, just nice and chill. How about you take your best best shot at... <laughs> That's a quick reaction. 45%. It's not terrible. Let's do this. They'll run off and do their thing. He's actually fishing and then... He's off gathering his food and he's back from his mission. Hopefully we won it. Alright, did we win? We actually won it. We actually got the 45% dice roll, which is pretty nice. So we got a grenade and a, by the looks of it, Bouncing Betty. Well, I guess I'll end it there for now. This is a really good game. If you can't get your hands on it, definitely recommend. And play Blaze of the Shogun as well, because that is a really good game as well. So, yeah. Just play stealth games, basically, just to, to conclude in general. <laughs> the stealth, stealth genre is just really fun. Uh, to me, anyway. But yeah. Don't want to show off too much of the game, so I will end it, but uh, thanks very much for watching, do hope you enjoyed, and uh, bye for now.